Hi guys, it's Serena from Pretty Well Things and today I'm doing my July favourites. So my first favourite this month is this Garnier Body Summer Body Moisturising Lotion Sunkissed Look Apricot Extract Sun Tanning Lotion and um, that was a really long name. Basically it's a tanning moisturiser. This is, um, I've been using this all through July and it just gives the most natural tan that I've ever seen. It doesn't look orange whatsoever, it literally just, just look like you've got this hint of tan and um, it doesn't smell of tanning products, it doesn't smell like biscuits or anything like that. It d does smell of apricots, it's, it makes your skin feel really exotic and um, I am really quite pale and this is a really nice match for my skin. I picked this up in um, Home Bargains I think, um, or b and one of the two, at the beginning of July and I've been loving this. I've not been using it religiously but probably about twice a week and it just keeps you a really nice um, shade and personally I think this is a really good tanning product so if you're pale you should definitely give this a go. Keeping with the sun kind of theme, it's been really really warm here in England for the past probably about two to three weeks. Unfortunately today it has been raining a lot because we're having flooding this weekend but it should be back to being sunny next week. I've been using this Michael Todd Nature's Block Mineral Sunscreen and this is SPF 26 which is a really weird SPF, you'd think you either go for 25 or 30 but it's 26 and it says it's safe and effective, non-toxic, non-whitening which I really look for in a sun um, cream. I don't like whitening products unless it's something I'm using specifically for kind of like acne scarring. Um, this is for the face so it could be a good thing but I prefer to use specific whitening products for that kind of thing and then it being mixed in with other products and um, it has, well it blocks UVA and UVB rays and it's for all skin types and everything like that. It says on the back that the it's got no parabens and some word that I can't pronounce, um, no fragrances or anything like that, and it's not tested on animals. I really love this for the face, it's a great kind of um, in-between moisturiser and um, sun cream feeling product. It doesn't smell of anything drastic so it doesn't make your face kind of feel like you've got loads of product on. And SPF 26 is very high for the face so that's brilliant. It's been really sunny here so it's very kind of sunglasses and sun cream uh, kind of month month yeah I guess month um, I have not worn makeup throughout July I've probably worn it about four times in July and I've just been really trying to keep my face clean and just focus on skincare and not block it up with makeup and I've done really well at not wearing any makeup throughout um, July but when I do feel like I want a little bit of coverage if I'm nipping out somewhere or visiting, visiting someone I've been just using this concealer this is the mineral fresh face concealer in the shade porcelain and I've just been putting this under my eyes not on any spots and then buffing it in with the Real Techniques setting brush which looks like this, it's quite poofy and small so it's great for getting under the eyes and around the nose and the chin and it just gets it all blended in really well and then I just use a powder on top and that's basically all I've been using makeup wise throughout July. That's what I'm wearing right now on my face, just concealer, powder and um, some lipstick. Again sticking with skincare, this has been a saviour of mine this month. It's not just winter that makes my lips crack, it's the sun as well, they get dry and it's, my lips just don't like any weather I don't think. But this is the Be Good Vanilla and Honey Lip Balm and it's so moisturising, it's really really good. My lips get used to a product after a while and it just stops working so I kind of have this rotation of products and this is what I've been using throughout July and um, it's made by British Bees, you can just imagine all the little bees making lip balm and um, it says it's deeply nourishing and softens and protects and all that and I think it's really really good so I'll leave a link below where you can get this from. Kind of a skincare item kind of a body wash is the I Love Banana Split and I picked this up in um, Primark from the travel section just because it smells so incredibly good. You can use this as a bubble bath or as a kind of like a shower gel hiccups and um, yeah it's banana split and it literally just smells of banana milkshake it is like pure banana milkshake oh my god 
smells so good. I love it. And for a pound, you really can't go wrong. It looks like I've not used any, but it's actually down to about here. And I'm thinking I'm going to try this out as a bubble bath next. And um, yeah, it makes your skin smell like banana. It's so good. So this is kind of a technical item, but it is my new Magnetone Lucid. And I'm going to have a full review of this on my blog very soon. So I'll leave a link to that below and everything like that. But I've been using this for about two weeks now. It is amazing. This has definitely helped, I think, with me not wearing any makeup. And I've been using it morning and night for the past two and a half weeks, I think. And it is really, 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 really good. So this is basically, you all know what the Clarisonic is. It's basically Clarisonic, but half the price. This is $69.99 and the Lucid comes in five shades, I think. I chose this hot pink one. It has a brush on the front and this little button here, which you press, it lights up. It beeps every 30 seconds and then it turns off after two minutes and um, you can use it in the shower in the bath it's waterproof the little head just rotates like this and it really gets everything off um, even though I've not been wearing makeup I've been using this as um, kind of like a face wash help face face wash to help my face wash work really well I put the face wash on here wet my face a bit and then just do small circular motions around the face about 30 seconds in each area and then uh, wash my face with some water wash the brush and then put the little cap back on now the really smart thing about this is that it comes with this kind of um, wireless charger so it looks like a little pebble and you charge the pebble up um, via your wall and then you can take the pebble with you and it just magnetically clicks on and then it charges your magnetone um, while you're out so you can just take that with you if you're going on holiday or you're going on a weekend trip and um, I've had this about two weeks as I said and I've not had to recharge it yet so um, it lasts a really long time because you're only using it at two minutes at a time so it's not going to run out quickly or anything um, but you can get this in a really nice mint colour and a blue colour I think there's a yellow but I chose hot pink because how can you not so I'll leave a link to where you can get this from below but it's super duper brilliant like you can feel the difference in your skin specifically after day three but I'll write more about that in the review so you can check that out for more details got two hair accessories to show you. The first one is this little flower um, bun topper, I guess, that's what it's called. You put it around your bun and if you saw my last favourites video you see that I mentioned a donut for putting your hair up in a bun and I've been putting this around it just to, tie, to keep the edges looking tidy and everything and it just adds a little something to your hair. Now me, my sister and my cousin um, are going to Leeds Festival this year and I'm probably going to be having my hair in a bun the whole time so I'm probably going to put this around just for a little bit of festivalness and it's just I think it was £1.50 from Primark so really cheap and it's just really just really pretty the second one is this scrunchie and I actually made this scrunchie myself using my new sewing machine which I am so just in love with um, I've named it Herbie and I'll leave a link below so you can check out more details about the sewing machine if you're interested. Um, but I have started a new blog which is probably one of the reasons why I've been missing most of, well I've not filmed since July and I'm, since June sorry and I'm really sorry about that but I've been so busy with work and I've got a couple of projects on the side that I've been working on and it's just been creeping up on me. But I have started a new blog called Pretty Wild DIY and it's going to be a blog dedicated to all things DIY from uh, fashion to uh, beauty, homeware, everything like that and I've got two tutorials up at the moment um, so I'll leave a link to my new blog below so you can check it out and follow if you would like to. Uh, the first tutorial that I did was for a scrunchie and this is floral blue, I'll do a close up so you can see. Um, this is the first thing I actually made on my sewing machine, so um, it's not brilliant. I'm definitely a beginner at sewing, but I'm also going to be doing things that's nothing to do with sewing. Like I also have a lint, lint, a lace print bowl that's up there. You can check that out. I think they're so pretty and great for kind of gifts and just making things yourself is much more fun than buying things. I personally think so. Um, be sure to check out my blog, and I'll be doing some giveaways there in the future of. Um, DIY type things. Speaking of giveaways, if you've reached this part of the video, um, congratulations. Um, I'm holding a giveaway on my blog next week, I think on Tuesday, so definitely be sure to follow my blog, Loves Pretty Wild Things, I'll leave the link below 
so that you can follow my blog because you need to be following to enter the competition. There are lots of beauty products that I'm giving away. So um, yes, that will be happening next Tuesday. My last couple of favourites are uh, fashion related. The first one is this wash bag which has macaroons all over it. This is from Primark, it still has the tag on it. It was £4 and the reason I picked this up is because I saw it in um, Becca's video and she mentioned how she was going to use it as a clutch instead and I thought that was a brilliant idea so um, me and my sister went to Manchester and I picked it up, it was the last one there and um, I'm not really sure whether I can use this as a clutch or if it looks too much like a wash bag if you've seen it in Primark or you can see it right now let me know what you think because I'm still not sure about whether I think it looks too much like a wash bag it does have this faux leather effect which you know you can use as a clutch but it has a flat bottom and I'm thinking I might cut off the flat bottom and sew it so it's more of a flat pouch possibly is one of my ideas but let me know what you think whether it's acceptable to use a wash bag as a clutch specifically one from Primark that everyone will know was a wash bag um, but yeah let me know what you think about that I thought it was really interesting there was actually some women in Primark talking about another wash bag and they said oh I'd use that as a clutch and I was like that's exactly what I'm thinking so um, yes, macaroon print, really pretty, polka dots, yes, but I'm thinking about cutting off the flat bit and sewing it more pouchy, so let me know what you think about that. So my second to last fashion item is this cardigan, which is going to be really hard to show you, but I got it from Primark, and it has um, bat wing sleeves, as you can see, like this. I got it in a size 14 to 16, um, just because 12, they didn't have any um, 10 to 12s, but uh, I probably would have got this size anyway. It's really oversized and it just is so comfy. I've been wearing it all through July with pretty much every outfit and um, I've got a jumper on now so I don't really need to wear a cardigan, but it's just, it's kind of like a, a big round circle. It doesn't have any uh, pockets or right angles in it and it's just really slouchy and comfy and I can't remember how much this was I think it was ten pounds um, but it also comes in a few other colors this is the oatmeal one and they don't have it in my local um, Primark but I had to get this from Manchester so uh, if you live near Manchester you can still get this upstairs Love it. my very final favorite is this skirt which I actually bought from a girl on Instagram who was selling it, a woman on Instagram who was selling it, she worn it a couple of times and it's a Kath Kidson skirt, I don't own any fashion things from Kath Kidson other than this and it is a little elasticated waist skirt like this and it's got strawberry print on it and it has pockets which is always a great thing in a skirt or dress um, so yes it's in a size medium if that's focusing and I really wasn't sure whether this was going to fit me because I wear a size 14 on the bottom and I'm quite tall so skirts always tend to be really short on me and just like the second you bend over there are pants on show um, but she was selling it for £20 so I thought I'll give it a go and if it doesn't fit I'll just sell it on but it fits perfectly it's the right length and it also has um, a lining inside so it's really great for um, sunny days when it's a little bit windy because um, your pants don't, it doesn't fly up as easily and it just makes you feel more secure and it's very luxury and I just love it and I think it's definitely got me on the kind of Kath Kidson fashion bandwagon now and I need to own another one so I got that and I love it. TV shows that I've been loving throughout July is Prison Break which I was never kind of intrigued to watch when it was actually on TV. I remember the adverts for it all the time and the adverts never made me think I want to watch that or anything, but it was on Netflix so I thought I'll give it a go and I am obsessed. I've I've got to about four episodes before the very end of season four, um, so I have been loving it, just kind of running my way through it and I um, can't believe I wasn't watching it before, but it wasn't really my kind of thing back when it was actually on TV. So if you haven't seen it, then check that out on Netflix. And what I'm watching now is Gossip Girl. Again, I saw bits and bobs back when it was on TV, a few episodes here and there, but nothing that actually made sense because they weren't in order. Um, but I'm now on season three, I think, out of six, and yeah, I'm loving it. It's really weird to watch a show that, with someone that has the same name as you because 
I don't often see people or hear people called Serena, so every time they say it, I'm like, what? Um, but yeah, that's what I've been loving throughout July. Um, let me know what videos you would like to see throughout August, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.